Hey what is up guys it's me Utsav and welcome back to another video and today we're going to look at a new report that is email confirmation bypass which led to previous escalation and this is a very common kind of a bug but i want you to understand that this report is a mixture of two bugs first is of email confirmation bypass and second is of previous previous escalation if you find either of them you won't get a huge amount of bounty but when you combine both the attack you get a crazy amount of bounty and this guy got a bounty of 22.5k dollars like it's amazing and its severity is critical as well so today we're going to look at uh, the poc so let's move ahead with the poc so i'm really sorry there's no video poc for this but i'll try my level best to explain it with the images he provided us in the report so let's go ahead so let me give you a brief overview first so in this case he's, he this guy is using two email ids uh first is uh, say cheese at the rate hacker we are hacker1.com and it's the attacker and then there's other other email id that is uh, say cheese triple one at the rate we are hacker1.com which is victim email id so let's move ahead so first he what he did was he made a store name attacker store one and login was say cheese at the rate we are hacker1.com that means this is the attacker account okay so now moving ahead uh, what he did was he went to uh, your account number like he went to the account information page of the store and uh, he i guess he will change this image and save it so and yeah again this email id is sages.com say sages@vrhacker.com uh, when he created this store he didn't verify this account so just for the sake of this bug he didn't verify the account and what he did was go to the account information and uh, uh, he'll change the profile picture see this and uh, and he also changed the email id so he changed the email id to sages triple one at the vrhacker1.com which is a victim account that means this account must be existing on this platform so what he did he changed his account and he said to verify your email address following link has been sent to your email account so he must have the access to sages triple one at the vrhacker1.com in order to get the uh, confirmation code so yeah let's see what he did here okay so he went to the burp and uh, he just match and replace the response body see see this type is response body and he uh, what he did was he matched say cheese at that wearehacker.com which was the account of attacker and uh, he changed it to say cheese triple one at that wearehacker.com which is the account of a victim so in all the response like attacker id would be replaced by the victim id so let's see what happened next okay and uh, again he did the same thing but he encoded at the red sign and uh, with um, percentage 40 so there's nothing different in this okay then we'll move ahead he activated the match and response so the response could be changed every time he reloads the page now he gonna what he gonna do is uh, so now he gonna refresh the account page and now see he got the email as say cheese triple one at the rate we are hacker one dot com but mind you this is changed on the client side because he changed the response body so this is the change on the client side not on the server side so let's see what he do next okay if it is still on account with you have to do that okay and he changed the photo again and he changed the photo again and uh, He what he what uh, the hesitation is you are using say cheese triple one at the rear hacker one to log in into four different account. So this uh, victim account is linked with four different accounts. So now he can I guess review the account and change it change and get the access of all the account. But let's see what he does. Okay. So now he's gonna what he wrote is he gonna uncheck the match and replace like he's gonna uncheck both these parameters. So there is no there is no change in the response body. and now and now what going to do okay okay that's interesting so now he changed the response like he removed the parameter of match and replace and what he did here is he changed the email id again he changed the email id to say cheese at that we are hacker1.com so now now the web app is thinking that uh, he had uh, like this account is linked to say cheese triple one at that we are hacker1.com which is the victim account and he want to change the email id to the attacker account that is sage@vrhacker1.com so that it's like not that tough to understand but yeah like this is something complicated but uh, i guess you'll get it so basically what he did here is he changed the email id again to sage@vrhacker1.com and he 
got the verification code on his account because this was the attacker's account. So let's see. In a, uh, okay. So what happened here is like he got the confirmation email on his account and he confirmed the link from his email. So now what he did here is he again changed the image and clicked on this review account section and what he found was there was multiple stored link with that account so what he did was create a shopify id okay he created a uh, he entered his shopify id and he got to and he got the access of all the store linked with that account which was new victim one two three my attack store three and attack store one so basically now so now he got access of all the store and all the partner ID link with this account. So I, I don't know, like the bug was way too good and like it's a very common kind of a bug and he got a great bounty out of it. The best thing is like bounty of 22.5k. I think hope this video helped you and uh, I'm really willing to make more and more videos. So if you have any suggestion about any reports or any kind of vulnerability you want to see, just drop a comment and if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe would be appreciated thank you so much for watching this video bye bye